What's going on y'all? This is GhostX. I have another video for you. This is basically me wanting to share my top two loadouts with you guys because I know Season 5 Reloaded is coming out and you need some good weapons to join the battle. Stay tuned. Let's dive right in. The first one, I think you guessed it right, and it's the FJX, and I called it MWZ1 because in my opinion, it's number one SMG for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And as you can see, I put the conversion kit on it. I use it without the conversion kit. Some people say that it might work better, you know, just to use the original one without the conversion kit. However, I think they're uh, very similar in terms of the damage. I use the conversion kit because I get better uh, range and, uh, you know, less recoil. And uh, just for the sake of the mobility, I have no stock on it. And trust me, if you put a dead shot on it, you're not going to need any stock. The laser would be the Kimura. This one gives you more accuracy and handling. For the muzzle, I use the Quartermaster, which basically gives you better gun kick control and more recoil control. The Ender Bell would be the DR6. I was in between DR6 and the X10 Phantom. The DR6 is a little bit more lighter, uh, so it gives you better mobility and handling. All right, so we talked about the FJX. Let's go to the second one, which is going to be the Static HB. Same thing for the muzzle. I use the Quartermaster and um, the laser is also the same in addition to the under barrel which is a DR6 and we just talked about it. The barrel would be the Garrett-8 long barrel. It gives you better bullet velocity and range. It decreases the mobility a little bit and the accuracy but we have a dead shot and we have other attachments that have better mobility. And I think this is going to be light either way. So here's what I did. I took both guns to one match and I put flawless crystals on both of them. Legendary tools on both of them. And I used dead shot Dacry. And I also use a mag of holding, obviously. Here is what I found. In terms of efficacy, damage, and ease of handling, both guns with this exact two loadouts that I just showed you, they were very close in terms of damage. What I also found out when I was doing this video is if you have two guns, a primary and secondary, and you put one mag of holding on one of them, the other one will get that mag of holding feature as well. So you do not need to put two mag of holdings on two guns that you're carrying. If you back a punch the FJX to a three and then you put a legendary tool on it, you'll get like 1,020 rounds on it. While the um, static HV, you will get 900. In my opinion, that's pretty good amount of ammo that makes you survive tier three and dark either, to be honest with you. After you guys see these two loadouts that I'm going to show you in this video, uh, please let me know what you think about it. And if you have a different loadout, you think that could be better than what I have, I'd appreciate it if you share. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys who are watching, subscribing, putting likes, commenting. You really are my inspiration to continue. I started this channel in February 2024. We almost hit 1,400 subscribers and I really appreciate it from you guys. And guess what? We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Let's get there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.